Um, well, our role with the Rockets is to primarily do uh, public safety. Uh, we uh, launch two helicopters out uh, every, every time they uh, launch a rocket out of the Cape. And, and uh, that's typically about once a month, sometimes two a month. I think this month we actually have two this month that uh, they're doing. We go out there and we clear uh, an area, what they call the launch hazard zone, uh, underneath the, the trajectory of the rocket. It's a unique mission, largely because of our location here at Patrick Air Force Base uh, that, that, we're, that we do. I mean, nobody else does it. Uh, so it, it's uh, something that we, that's unique to the 920th uh, that we support those missions. Of course, our primary mission still is to train crews for doing combat rescue, and that's what, that's what our day-to-day -day training is. But uh, just because we're uniquely located here at uh, Patrick Air Force Base, we work with the 45th Space Wing and Aft Space to uh, to clear the eastern test range uh, to, to, like I said, to provide that public safety. Minus 22. SRM TVC blowdown. Minus 15. Harbor Niter, Rough Ignition. T minus 10. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have ignition of the RS 68 main engine. Two, one. And we have liftoff of the Delta IV launch vehicle carrying the WGS 6 satellite for the United States Air Force. The White Man Global SATCOM satellite provides significantly increased capacity for our nation's leaders, warfighters, and international partners. Deprivation of the solid rocket boosters. One minute, 54 seconds into the flight. The Delta vehicle now only weighs one half of what it did at launch some two minutes ago, spelling propellant at the rate of 1,850 pounds per second. This is Delta Mission Control at T plus two minutes and 11 seconds. Steve Ag had just confirmed jettison of all four solid rocket motors, and the mission continues not.